Here at the EDM Technical Center in Methods Machine Tools, they've got so many machines on show, but they're not just for show, they're for training, testing, they even develop brand new technology. They distribute throughout the whole of North America, starting here. I'm gonna to talk to Bill Berber about two critical features that helps machine shops make the best out of their EDM technology. Have you thought about ways that your EDM machine can make you even more money, maybe over weekends, overnight? If you're a job shop, you should not be treating these things as commodities. Uh, now, Bill, we're here in front of a, a RoboCut EDM machine, which Method Machine Tools, you have a real um, focus on FANUC. Let's first of all talk about Methods Machine Tools' relationship with FANUC. Sure, so we've been doing business with FANUC for over 40 years. Um, we have an on-site sales engineer or a service engineer from FANUC that assists us if we have any issues that we have to go back to the factory, any troubles that we have to communicate, so we have somebody that we can always rely on. We have a, a great group of applications engineers that uh, visit the factory on a yearly or, or every other year basis along with our service engineers. So we're always trying to discuss with each other the best ways of um, making the product better and taking some of the ideas that we see in the field and things that we experience and bringing those back to the factory and trying to make the best product for our customers as we move forward over the years through different product lines. I'm focusing on Fanuc is a really good thing because Fanuc are always trying to develop new features, new things to their control system, their drives, Correct. and the machinery to help make people more productive. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a demo here today for Machine Fest. What demo are you showing? So in this machine, this is a C600 IC. This is a midline machine, 16 inch Z tank. And what we're showing here is a, a, an option, or not an option, it's actually a function from Fanuc. It's called job interruption. It's one button on the control. And what job interruption does, it allows the operator to take a job and move between this job and another job. Now what I mean by that is, last minute the supervisor always comes down and says, hey, when are you gonna be done with that job? I got another job, a hot job for a customer, I need to get into the machine. And most EDM operators tend to roll their eyes because there's a lot of information that goes into the setup. Fanuc has taken this, this, this step and basically by pressing one button we can save all the coordinates, all our measure points, all our rotation, basically the entire control, capture it all into a file, we can move over to another job, set up that job for a weekend or a night to be run or get that hot job in there that the customer just came in with and needs right away, run the job off, get it out to the supervisor, let them get into quality, inspect it, ship it out to the customer and by hitting one other button called restore, we can move right back onto the other job and keep production running. So we like to use that job for the hot jobs that come in, as well as when you don't have the time to set up a job on Friday, you can basically Thursday, Friday morning, set that hot job up for the weekend, and you can move over to your other jobs during the week, do your cutting, and then on Friday night when it's getting time to leave, just set up the machine to run that job, and then with our power saving features, when the job's done, it'll drain the tank and shut down. Or we can even schedule it to run, come on Sunday morning. And when we walk in the door at seven o'clock on Monday morning, the job's just finishing, the parts not sitting in the tank. So very, very easy for an operator or setup man to get out of that job and get onto that, that critical job that makes you a new customer very fast. And that's so important for job shops who need to be dynamic yes. and make sure they can please customers right now and also make sure they've got capacity to please customers for next week as well. Absolutely, I mean, it, wire EDM, as we all know, it, it's a slow process, but when you're, once you're into it, it's very difficult to interrupt. So when you know you get to a point, whether it's an MOO, middle of a rough cut, just somewhere that the operator knows he can get into, one button gets you on to the next job, it gets that job out, and basically you're taking care of that pain that gets you work and gets you customers. Brilliant, and that's one feature that helps job shops uh, keep themselves dynamic. We're gonna talk about another feature as well that helps keep the EDMs running overnight, unmanned, that also helps job shops with their capacity for EDM. So we've talked about changing jobs when you've got a hot job come in in the daytime, but if you're trying to run stuff overnight with bigger capacity and trying to make use of weekends, you might have a wire break, right, Bill? What, ha what happens normally when a wire breaks? Well, when the wire breaks, the machine, depending on the machine that you have, has to go back to the very beginning of the part. Uh, some instances it may have to drain the tank, which can take some time for you. Other instances it doesn't have to, depending on the machine that you're on. 
and it just causes a lot of time. And you then have to move back through the curve to get to the point where the wire broke to continue your cutting. In this instance, we have Fanica has developed what they call AWF3. It's our third generation. The third generation allows us to, um, in one instance, we can thread in any of our machines at full Z axis, a full Z axis, up to 20 inches in Z height. Which is with, huge. Without Absolutely draining huge. the tank. Yeah, so in, in a 16 inch machine, the average 16 inch, uh, 6600, it's about three and a half minutes to drain a tank and fill it. Now I know we're not always threading fully submerged, but that's the maximum amount of time that we would lose if we had to do that. A FANUC allows us with their AWF3, we can thread fully submerged without draining the tank, as well as with AWF3, if we're over a part with a small hole of the kerf, we can thread through the kerf, and if the wire has any problems with it, say we have a small open nozzle where the wire's basically just getting hung up on the edge of the kerf, we can oscillate the wire and vibrate it back and forth so that it actually will make connection through the kerf and continue the wire threading. In this example, we have several different letters that we've got in here. So yeah, you've Robocut. got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters, and they've also got loads of and little And they've also extra got holes interruptions inside. in the middle of them. Yep. And this this demonstration shows the wire threader. Now this is extreme, but if you're a medical company with a lot of tubing in a fixture, this would come in very handy, where you don't have to go back to the beginning and pass through the part again and 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 recut or overcut a profile. Uh, aerospace is very handy. And this allows you to keep the machine running, like as you said, if you leave at night and you change to another job, any wire breaks, there's several features that the machine has built into it, as well as the AWF3, which will allow us to thread through the kerf. And we can do it on a taper up to five degrees as well. So for tool and die shops, perfect solution for keeping you running and the operator's not running over or uh, running at night on the weekends. Absolutely, so for reliable, consistent EDM, even when things go wrong, that's the Robocop from Methods Machine Tools.